Generic greetings and welcome to Interplanetary, the enhanced edition, no less. Today's beverage is... Ah, tropical juice drink, very refreshing. So this is a bit of a strange beast. It is essentially an artillery game. You are on a planet and you will have to build up your resource gathering infrastructure in order to build big honk and space guns essentially to shoot other planets and it's all about arcing the shots around uh, the solar system and dealing with the gravity and things like that. It's a game that's very niche I felt when I played it a couple of years ago and Although it was very interesting and very fun at times, the main issue was, for me anyway, the AI. As in, there wasn't any AI in multiplayer and the AI in single player took an age to calculate. I think it was sending it via snail mail or dial up to whatever uh, 486 wood grain machine that they could calculate the stuff and then send it back and it would just take an age. But this enhanced edition has been completely overhauled so that now long that's no longer the case. It calculates very quickly and also you can play it multiplayer. So instead of having to wait to get loads of different people in multiplayer, which was a difficulty anyway because it's a very niche game and blah blah blah, you know, trying to find a game was very difficult. Um, you can now say you and a friend play versus like six bots or whatever, so there's always that. Either way, if you own the original game, then you already own this, it'll be in your Steam list. If you don't, then links are in the description. I'm going to play it and just see what it is like. So let's go to play local and we're going to add one, two, three, four, five AI and we'll just click start game. There's probably some other settings that I could deal with, but I don't really care. I just want to try it out. I haven't played this in over a year, so it'll be a bit of a relearning exercise for me, but uh, hmm. Hey ho, we'll have to see what they've changed. I have a total of about 30 odd minutes on this edition and that 30 odd minutes consists of me firing it up and then getting called away for 33 of those minutes. So um, I've really not played this at all, so I have no idea. Uh, so this is the uh, central uh, point, the, obviously the uh, the star that we are orbiting and then you've got different planets and we are... Which one are we? Which one are we? The blue one? We're the blue one, right? We are the blue one. Yes, I did change my color. So I am over here so I can zoom into my planet and ooh, it's very- Ooh, God, it's all over the place. Uh, you know what? Let's just click on that button there. So there's our planet, as you can see. And you have different cities and what you do- That's very pretty. I like the landmass, the different colours and such. Anyway, uh, what you do is you will build um, different things, so resource gathering bits, so we've got mines and solar plants, then you've got offensive rail guns, and then you will use those to shoot your opponents, which incidentally are here, 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 and then here. So they'll actually orbit around the uh, solar system in different ways, different directions, and you have to shoot them. You can also do research, which we can have a look in here. So we've got biomass, chemical processing, self-adjusting optics, and second-gen composites, and they'll unlock different things. So this is a upgrade. This is an upgrade. Actually, no, that's city projections, which is a permanent boost. Yeah, okay. And then you've got unlock solar panel upgrade. Yeah, we'll have that one there, mass biochemical uh, processing, and that also gives us an upgrade for airburst ammunitions, which increases the airway, but uh, reduces population damage and building damage. And, oh my good grief, there's a lot more in this tree than there was previously. Bloody hells, but look, hell's bells, look at that. There's a lot more in here. So you've got gamma ray lasers, which gives you a laser. You've got uh, MRIV. What the hell is an MRIV? It is... Um, is that like a multi-stage rocket thing? I think it might be. Either way, that's a new one. Thermonuclear warheads. That sounds interesting. A solar laser, which is... Ah, right, the solar laser. What that does is... Um, a laser will fire out from the sun in the centre from the star and then you'll be able to hit planets that way and then your mass drivers are the opposite they'll actually bring asteroids from uh, the edge of the solar system in but looks like they've added a third sort of super weapon which is this uh, nuclear missile and there's salted warheads, pure fusion, there's loads of stuff yeah there's a lot more upgrades in here you've also got a intel view which you can see this is my planet here and then you've got the opponent over on the right hand side and um, once you've got uh, enough intelligence you can see what's on their planet I remember playing a game before uh, in multiplayer with a couple of friends and I went solely for um, intel gathering and denial so I could see what they have and they couldn't see what I had and it was uh, a fairly interesting little meta game going on. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start upgrading some of my some of my uh, places around here. This is not too bad because it's got two connection points, that's what the bottom bit shows, but it's also quite far away. This one's the best one. 
this is Chorus, and what I'm going to do is get a solar plant up and running, so I'm going to connect that like so. Then I'm going to put a mine next to it. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect the mine to the solar plant. What you do is you mouse over the thing you want to connect it to, and it uses one of the connection points, and then you get this little line. You can connect it to multiple things, and the reason you would do that is if one gets severed, then obviously you've still got the other one to provide power. But I'm going to connect it to the solar panel for now, so we'll do that, and then I'm pretty much out of resources. These are my resources up on the top here. It also shows you uh, the amount of people you have at each city and the connection points and stuff and the amount of minerals left on your planet because you do have a finite amount of resources. You can't just mine, 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 mine and then that is it. You know, you, you, continue, you, go, you go on forever. You will eventually strip your planet dead and it's, that's like how you, well, you have to be very careful because if you want to play the long game then obviously you go very renewable and you, as long as you can weather the attacks of the opponents then you will be able to win eventually. So there's, there's tactics there. Uh, anyway, I've got all that connected. That is not powered up because as you can see the solar plant is in the dark side, so we'll wait for it to orbit, and then we should be fine. You can also upgrade things, so you can click on like the city, and you can give it different upgrades, so there's like a bazillion upgrades. I'm not going to go through them all, because this is just me sort of relearning the game. Either way, I'm going to press start, and wow, that calculated straight away. It didn't have to mess around, although to be fair, there's no shooting going to be... Uh, happening in this first couple of turns. So it looks like we've got some new technology research, which is some nice... Uh, ex extra solar panel stuff, we've got multi-stage refinery, we've got airburst munitions, we've got self-adjusting optics, so we'll go for that one. We'll get all the three of the basic ones, because you have to, to get this tree unlocked, so it's a safe bet. And we'll go over to building once more. So we're going to have a little scroll around, so the mine is not working. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place another mine in, uh, another mine and another solar plant around here. And the reason for that is it means if one of them is in the dark, one of them, the other one should hopefully be working. Now I've got all of my resources used up there, but if I click on this solar plant, I might be able to give it the upgrade of, yes, energy game 75%. So I might as well do that, because it's going to be useful in the future. And I don't know if I have resources for the other one, I don't know. So let's just end the turn, and there we go. Uh, as I said, I have played in multiplayer, and I think my I think I've only played a couple of games, but one of my games lasted nearly two and a half hours, which is beyond what I would class as acceptable, really. And the thing is, a lot of it wasn't even like a fun two and a half hours. It was just waiting for people to do and issue their orders, and it was just like, okay, I'm I'm really sick of this now. Can we sort of crack on, please? But uh, hey ho, it is what it is. But uh, now with the AI, I think that might be a uh, I think it be I might I might be better because it means I can um, just sort of get on with it. You know, you, you, you and a friend can like play a sort of co-op essentially if you want to. We're going to keep ending the turn until we get enough resources to really start hammering them. I've got um, all these three researched here. So, which way do we want to go for? We've got the... I guess this would be the... This is the resource gathering tree. For, well, it's not necessarily that, that. That's not necessarily that. But if you can see, this is all about energy upgrades and things like that. This one is about Intel, and this one seems to be a bit of defense. So yeah, so countermeasures and also connect defense. I'm going to go for this one, advanced signal processing, because it gives us the telescopic array. And oh, it's actually a telescopic array upgrade. Oh, it also gives us a telescope array, so that's fine, and that allows us to spy on the opponents, which is good. So, I want to get another mine up and running, so we're going to put a mine in there. And then we want another mine up and running in there. Okay, and then we'll end the turn. So hopefully we will gather some more resources. Obviously it depends on how much we're, how much sun we're going to get. In the, actually not, because I think we have a pool, an overall pool. Uh, either way, we got a 650. We're getting 318 a turn. So, now we've got this advanced signal processing unlocked. We want to go for, what's that one there? That gives us increases population damage, a bio... Bioweapons lab? Go uh, maybe not. I uh, don't think I don't fancy going that way. Let's go for Maglex servos, which gives us kinetic defense, which would be useful. And what I want to do is, do you want to start getting some guns? I think getting some guns is the way forward. So we're going to get a solar plant up here, and then we're going to get a gun in uh, in this corner here. Okay. So there's our gun. We'll end the turn. And then we can actually start firing away. The game is still going to be a slow burner. I still think it's a uh, niche and, you know, people are going to find it either too slow, too boring, whatever. But there's nothing else really that offers this experience. I think there was a couple of games um, that was planning on doing something similar, but I, I, I never, haven't heard from them in a, quite a while. But uh, hey-ho, there's another railgun. And then what I want to do is also go for an intel gathering system. 
uh, solution. So, actually, no, mine's first, mine's first. I'm not really too bothered about the amount of resources I mine here because this is just a test. Oh, we've got some shots whizzing out already. So there's a shot coming out from orange, and it looks like it's headed towards red. Nope, it's curved right around this other s other place here, and then it's going this way. Looks like red is getting shot, and red's being hit once, and... Ooh, it's just missed me. Because that shot was around the planet, around the sun, and then that way there. Looks like red has been hit, though. So if we can click on red, we should be able to see where they've been hit. Uh, I'll wait until the turn ends, and then something else hit, I think. So I'll have a quick look at red, and we have a little zoom around. I like the atmosphere colours. They're very nice. See where they've been hit? Um... I can't see it. I can't see it. No, okay, fine. Right, so back over to this. And I now have the ability to fire my guns, because I have uh, both of them there. So I want to get probably another... Actually, do I need another plant? Or shall I just build that, which is... Uh, planet mineral cost minus 30. Yeah, so that gives you... That gives you a bit more efficiency on your mines. Again, I'm not going for efficiency in this playthrough. I'm just here for the uh, the learnings, really, and figuring it out. So I'm going to go right down here to uh, this area. We're going to get ourselves a solar power plant, and then eventually I want some intel gathering systems, but targeting view. So we get a top-down view, and we can click on our guns. You can see uh, what it's going to do damage-wise and things like that, and then we get... The arc, which is looks like this is new, this arc, it shows you the degrees from firing. So that's, you know, zero degrees, that's straight up, and then it shows you where it can fire either side. Then you've got your power level as well, like that. And that will alter the trajectory and such. So I'm going to fire it directly at red. Maximum power, maximum, maximum power. And we'll just fire it directly at red. We're going to lead a little bit that way, because it's just going to, you know, well, we might as well, because it's going to hit that way. Ah, but this one can't, though, see? This is slightly different, because it's on a... Uh, different area. So, in order to hit an opponent, I'm going to have to probably... I'm going to have to calculate a couple of things. So firing it directly at that guy, at player 5, is not going to work out because, you know, I'm, I'm hitting him at a completely oblique angle. So it's just going to it's going to go either left or right of him. Chances hitting him on the side, very, very unlikely. Or, what I could do, is I could fire it at orange, like that, knowing that it's probably going to curve around and his the gravity of his planet will drag it towards him. I'm going to calculate that. Oh, no technology researched. Uh, let's go for whatever that one is. I'm not really too bothered about the technology stuff. I'm just going to uh, crack on. So there's my shots going out. Bang! Straight there. Hits the red planet, player 4, but it doesn't cause any damage. It would pop up to see if we've hit anything uh, of note. And looks like someone's just missed me. My shot is coming towards orange, and it looks like it's going to miss. Yeah, but it's going to whiz round. And the thing about these shots is when you fire them, they keep on going. It reminds me of that Mass Effect 2 quote where they're talking about the... Uh, you know, this is a 20 kilo fella slug, and he goes on and on and on about, um, you know, if you pull the trigger on this, you are going to ruin someone's day because it'll either hit a ship or the planet behind that ship and continue. Yeah, I really like that uh, quote. <laughs> Either way, it's um, interesting to uh, see these shots whiz around uh, all of the solar system. Eventually, they're going to hit something, and it's generally the star in the center. It'll back into that. Anyway, let's go for some intel gathering solution systems. So there's one, and there's two, and that's two telescopes so we can see the opponent, hopefully. And then what I want to do is... Um, I want to probably work on some upgrades here. We've got extra science gain. We've got uh, counter intel gain. Um, I don't know, actually, would that work though? Counter and gain plus 50, um, but, but that's, I don't have any counter intel at all, so do I gain anything? Oh no, it's not a percentage, so just, did you just say gain? Let's try it, let's just give it ourselves some, uh, quantum encryption hub or whatever, and I need to know what my, uh, I can't see what they've got yet because, uh, I don't think it's turned on yet because I've just built them. Um, so we'll wait for another turn. But let's just go back to firing. So who's coming close to me now? Um, it looks like I can fire... Oh, there's lots of upgrades I can put on this uh, on this railgun. Oh, that's good. Firing energy cost, which is optimized projectile carriers. So it's a lot less to fire that one. But quite honestly, I really don't care. Oh, that also gives a stealth rating. Yeah, what I would recommend you do is... Um, yeah, go through the codex because it tells you... Everything. Oh, there, there's the MRIV, which is yeah, multi-stage missile type thing. I would recommend you go through this if you really want to get into it. And obviously, it'll tell you about all of the things you need to know, like, yeah, all the little 
intel gains and things like that. And then you've also got a guide, which is, uh, yeah, tells you about the intel and stuff. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's all there if you need to know it. Either way, real gun. Let's fire this at, um... Player 2 is going to be the easiest, I think. Although, I think we haven't got enough lead on that. Uh, probably a bit more lead, like... And you show the percentage. Like, that's 100% power, that's a little bit less. I think about there. And the other one can fire... Um, about there, because that should hopefully drag into there. And then the turn, and let's see what happens. So there's the shots whizzing out. Looks like there's loads of shots going all over the place, so yeah. I don't know why we're against each other. This is like... And the 12 colonies, but without battle stars. So that would be Caprica, right? Nah, anyway. Uh, I did hit, and... Ooh, building's damaged by us. There you go. So we know there's buildings around there. We don't know what type of buildings. See, it says AI player 2. It says question marks and then question mark in brackets slash question mark in brackets. Close brackets. HP. Yeah, basically, we don't know. We've hit something, but we're not entirely sure what. Um, either way, we've now got fourth generation nuclear plants. We're going to go for... Um, probably uranium alloys, because why not? And then let's go back over to... Actually, let's go to Intel, because I probably have... Ah, yes, look, I have Intel now, you see? So I have plus 50% counter intel, so a player, which one was the player I was targeting? It was player 2, so player 2, we can see, ah, there we go, look, that is what he's got. So he's placed his mines and a railgun all the way in this weird stretch like that. You don't have to connect them all, I just tend to. Uh, and that's what I hit, look, so I hit the mine and I damaged it to about half of its health. Uh, this is a kinetic defense, which is right near the edge of these mines, so, okay, understandable. Um, and I don't know what his intel is. Either way... Oh, that's my intel there, look, so I can see... Mines, and I can't see on science production trees or big cities and things like that. But... I can see him, which is important. And it doesn't look like any of them can see me. See this? No counter intel, because they haven't got any intel gathering stuff, so this is good. So, that would be very, very good if I had the MRIV thing, because then I could actually target their specific um I could target like specific parts of them right how long to an MRI be uh, or do I want missiles yeah missiles we want missiles because missiles allow you to target specific points if they get close enough so we'll do that so what I'm gonna crack on with I think is another standard cannon we'll get a cannon up here like that. Uh, like that. And then, we really need some defensive structures. So I'm going to place a defensive structure in here. So if they try to target my railguns, I should be able to shoot them down. Don't know if that is the case, but we'll, we'll give it a go. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so. Uh, solar power this thing. We want to say more energy gain, please. Obviously, the nuclear reactor is generally, be well, it's better because it provides power constantly, not just when you're on the sunny side, but also, downside of it is it takes 50 tons worth of material a turn. So, yeah, you actually sap your planet faster as well. Obviously, I'm not doing this efficiently at all, I pointed that out, but uh, so it is what it is. Right, so this one, we're going to be our uh, active radar scan, so we get more intel. These things I will go for. Uh, there's loads of upgrades, but you know what? I can't really get them. Uh, let's just go for targeting solution systems, and we'll start firing again. So this one, we can't because of... Well, it's, it's just miles away, but I can actually target, I reckon, red. I reckon I can get red, so about there. And then the other rail gun, we should be able to... No, we can't fire it either, so we're just going to fire it red. Sorry, red, it's going to be... Um, all on you here, and end the turn, and there's the shots out, it looks like I'm, I've got some incoming, and it's gonna miss, there we go, and the shots whizzing around, it looks like I've hit red, and, oh, I've done a lot of damage according to that, and look at all the shots whizzing around, <laughs> oh, good grief, yep, that's hit, oh, city's damaged, I've been hit, and another one, ooh, that one hit again, oh, crap, yeah, the shots are whizzing all over the place, <laughs> look at this, <laughs> oh, crap, that's incoming and all, Oh, no! That was... I don't know what that shot was. But it didn't... It, it hit hard. Look at that there. It hit... Why did that get destroyed? 
Yeah, I think I don't know why that wasn't taken out. I think it's just because no, it landed inside the zone. Kinetic defense. When projectiles approaches it, range activates and attempts to shoot down the threat. So it didn't work. Eventually, yeah, intercept rail gun 80%, intercept a coil cannon 80%. So it didn't work. Oh well. So I can repair these structures like so. Quite easy to do. Just repair. Repair. Get all these back up and running. And repair. And we can not repair the. Cannot repair the city because it's a city. Uh, what else did we get damaged off? Um, cities, that's damaged there. Oh, this city, it's miles away. It damages population. Uh, the way you win, by the way, if, if that even cared, uh, if you even cared, is um, you, you destroy the all the cities. Oh, people quit out. We you know whatever happens first. Anyway, so I don't like red. Uh, he's going to get shot -erated. And let's just blatter him like so. We're very, very close. So you know what? That should do it. And firing. And here we go. Shotgun. Yeah, that was a couple of hard hits there. I'm taking some shots. Yeah, this is a lot of... Yeah, it seems quite aggressive at this point. Uh, <laughs> nobody's really bothering to... Oh, another stray shot went into me. Nobody's um, holding off, are they? It's, it's going full on. I mean, it's, it's a much different game in multiplayer. From my experience of a couple of games, you understand. Um, what tends to happen is people will, like, hold off and hold off because you don't want to let people know you've got guns. And as soon as you have guns, you become the prime. And then people start firing at them, and then you figure out who's got the most guns, and then you fire at them. But bear, bear in mind that you have to... Yeah, it, it's 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 all... It's, it's, it's that game. It's like, you know, you have to worry about not giving away... Not showing your hand too early, essentially. And that's why the intel thing comes in. I, I think it would be a lesser game, a much lesser game, if it didn't have the intel stuff. Anyway, so I now have a, a missile system. And what I'm going to do is place it in a new city. We're going to have a nuclear power plant here. And then we're going to have a... We're not going to have a missile system there. Uh, what's this as well? This is a mine. Uh, oh, oh, why? Oh, it's because it's reorganised. It. That's why. I was wondering what the hell was going on there. So, telescopic arrays we will upgrade with... Um, that's counter intel gain plus 50... Or oh, 15. Intel gain plus 50%. Stealth rating 35%. I don't know what stealth rating means. Is it like to detect it, personally? I don't know. But either way, I'm going to go for extra intel like that intel game plus 50 and then we'll obviously go out for targeting i've got enough to just keep firing and firing and firing that's a nice shot there because look the chance of that shot missing are very slim because it'll fire that way and then it'll because this is going directly away from it the, the gravity of that planet will pull the shot in so we don't need to worry too much in fact firing it um with too much power is is worse um for for our in, in our case here so we want to go for mm, we could. Should we just do a like a blinder shot and just like whiz it round like that and just to see what happens? Because let's yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, over to research again, and we'll go for I don't know that one there. I don't really care too much what we're researching now because like I said, I'm not going to keep this game. It's just learning. Oh, there's all the shots whizzing out. So two of my two shots headed for player four hit and didn't do any damage, but I think there's a couple of my shots going over here. But quite honestly. It's chaos. It's absolute chaos now. Um, oh, look at them shots there, though. They're going to get close. And... Yeah, that hit me. And some more shots going there. Whizzing out. Shots up there. There's one hitting the sun. Oh, look, that one's still going, though. See, they still go. They'll continue going and going and going. Because <laughs> that's how it works. Right. So over to this guy. Missile Solution Systems. Place one in here. And we can't place another one, but what I will do is place a defensive structure here. Alright, so firing, railguns again, and then we'll be able to fire the, uh... We'll be able to fire the other one later on. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit red. I don't know why I'm focusing on red, it, it just seems to be a bit like I'm gang ganging up on the guy, but, uh... Well, whatever. There we go, and end the turn. There's the shots. These ones are probably going to miss. That one may hit. Um, so, yep, two missed red. This one coming in front of red, though, will... Yep, gravity brought it in. And bang! Oh, look at that! Lots of damage buildings. I'm more worried about the stray shots coming over here, though. Which ones just whizz around my planet and uh, <laughs> just hit green? <laughs> oh, no, oh, oh, my good grief. I am really feel sorry for red. Look at the shots going towards him. <laughs> 
I haven't really looked at the other the other players because I really don't care too much about it. Um, so I can see, look, oh, they've got a coil cannon. Very good. And you can see they've got a lot of defensive things around it as well. But I've now not got as much... I, I can now... I cannot see as much as I had pre I, I could see previously because they've got more counter intel. But it looks like none of them have enemies intel on me. None look. They, they, none of them can see anything of my planet. They haven't. They've all gone for a counter intel rather than intel gathering, which is fine. Anyway, so we're going to place this in. Ah, problem here. If I place one of these again, what the hell is that? A floating plant? Is it like a? Oh yeah, you can actually place it on the sea. That's good. Uh, the problem I have now is if I place the missile system here, I'm running out of slots. So what I'm going to do instead is get another mine up and running, which gives me a slot. So it's like another connection there, and then we'll go for a, another missile system. Right. So over to firing now. And I'm going to get my missile system, and as you can see, I can find my missile like so. Now what that does is essentially... If it goes within the orbit of the planet, which I'll, I'll do it again, and you can see there's like a little green circle around that around planets. Very, 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 very small, but there you go. See that green circle? That means that it will be in the orbit. If it lands in there, what I can do is I can then target one of their... So I have to select, like, the planet, so I'm going to select this one. So, first stage targeting complete. Um, I need to then select the ground target. So I've selected the planet, and then I can select where the missiles are going to go. So I know, this is where my intel st stuff comes in, I know that they've got coil cannons there and a railgun there, but I, mm, actually I probably do want to fire it there because they're damaged already. Don't want to fire it there because the kinetic defense will probably get it. Let's go for the coil cannon. Oh, actually, will the kinetic defense get it? Let's have a quick look at our tech tree here. Uh, the counter, actually I don't need to look at our... The tech tree, I can just quickly look at my kinetic defense. Intercept railgun and coil cannon. Yeah, that does not intercept uh, missiles. It, well, it's called kinetic defense, obviously. So, so where is that one there? There you go. Kinetic defense upgrades, um, coil cannon, uh, an ion defense, which intercepts missiles, MRIV, and nuclear missiles. Yeah, so that's what you want, right? They've, they've changed the things uh, since the... Uh, since the patch. Ah, I didn't find my other thing. Damn it, I didn't find my other guns. Ah, well. Uh, so there's the missile, and then it hit, and yeah, look, building's destroyed. Oh, good grief. Um, and we also intercepted attacks from player five. Yeah, it actually intercepted it. This is good. Bloody hell. Whoa, did you see that explosion on the side? That was really cool. <laughs> right. So, I've now destroyed that. This is good. Well, if you want to destroy things, you understand. And if you don't, then you play the wrong game. Anyway, so I have destroyed the buildings. We'll have a look. This is what we destroyed, which is the thing we targeted specifically. And then we intercepted something over here. We want to go down and probably want to go for a little bit more intel gathering. So we'll go for another telescope there. And a telescope there and a telescope connected to that one. And can we put it on this little island? No, we cannot, which is a great shame. So we'll just have to put it out here. And there we go. So there's my telescopes. And we've got no defense over here. So maybe a defensive system would be in order. Uh, but I can't place it anywhere really. So I suck it. Right. So there's all that placed. We need to go for a couple of upgrades I believe. So let's have a look at our missiles. Because we're going to be firing these a lot. So we've got um, composite rebars which is 50% health or stealth rating. And then we've got loads of unlocks which is... Yeah, things like building damage, nuclear penetrator, biohazard warheads. Yeah, there's all sorts of upgrades. So you can you can go for lots of damage, or you could go for lots of area effect, or you could go for um, high um, high yield warheads for like specific purposes. So ones for that'll say take out a very very small area but like say wipe out a lot of people. So increase population damage but not much structure so that'd be like the chemical stuff. Either way, yeah, it's all it's all there. It's all there. Anyway, so missiles and ah problem I can't really fire it at this guy because he's not really in my arc. So I'm gonna fire it at him and we'll fire it there. Then we'll fire the other one at the same place and we'll save that there. Actually probably a little bit too off. I say there and there is probably the way to go. Target that one. Target that one. 
and we'll do the second stage targeting in a moment. This one is going to be a, just a big shotgun shot. Um, I'm going to whiz this round really, really slow. Look, so like, re like really, really tiny percentages of. There you go, no power whatsoever, which is probably going to miss, is it? Um, actually, you know what I could probably do? Curl it like that, look, and it'll curl re round and all the way. Yeah, it's all over the place. And then another shotgun shell like that. And then second stage targeting over here. We want to target. Oh, look at that. I've got lots of more intel so I can see what they've got. I'm going to target their coil cannon and their coil cannon. Uh, sorry, that one there. And then end the turn. And oh, no technology research. We're going to go for. Hang on. That one there. We want to go for. Missile, uh, nuclear penetrator. And in the turn, there's the shotgun shells, bang bang, two hits, and my missile is missing completely, and the shots are whizzing around all over the place. Yeah, yeah, that's fairly brutal. Oh, our buildings are damaged. Whoa. Yeah, we're taking a big hit. Yeah, we're taking hits. That's some incoming. There you go. Anyway, I uh, didn't do too bad on that one. Three versus three. I can easily repair. I think my economy is doing okay. My intel is exceptional. And I've got the stuff to really start hitting the opponent. Either way, that is enough of Interplanetary, the Enhanced Edition. As I said, if you own the original, then it's already in your Steam list. You can check it out and give it a go. If you don't own the game, you cannot buy the original. It's now just called the Enhanced Edition, I believe. So you have to, you know... Search for that. Links in the description, as always. But, uh, yeah. Vast improvement. Vast improvement. Re the, the calculations are done... Uh, well, they're done, not uh, scribbled on parchment and then sent to someone to decipher and then sent back via um, snail mail or pigeon post or whatever. Uh, and being able to do this, uh, having AI in multiplayer, I think would be... That's... I wouldn't say going to be a, a drastic improvement. What it's going to be is... It's actually going to make the game playable to be honest. Like I said, I did play it a couple of times with other people. I found it to be very, very long. Not that that's a bad thing, but it dragged on quite a bit. If you are, say, with a friend or a couple of friends, then obviously that's probably better with multiplayer and you can have a natter on and blah, blah, blah. It's always better. But uh, having AI opponents there as well in the mix to fill either fill the spaces or just so you can play co-op, then that's pretty good. The only thing I haven't seen is like, and, and may maybe it is in multiplayer, um, is the ability to... Um, by the way, you can, you can uh, pre-set your upgrades here by the look of it, I just figured that out. Uh, is to have like a diplomacy type thing where you can... Uh, I mean, there was always that. There was always like messaging other people and saying, do you want to be on my side, don't shoot me? But I don't know if there's an official way of doing that, like making it so you can have a team win. I don't know if that is in the game. You'd have to, you know, have a look yourself. But either way, if you enjoy what you see, then links down in the description. I really do like the Enhanced Edition. I think it's a worthy um, upgrade. It is enhanced. Vastly. <laughs> Anyway, thanks very much for watching, take care, and generic partings.